Hello friends, this is fifth part of Laravel 5.8 CRUD tutorial, and in this part we will discuss, how to edit or update existing MYSQL data. In previous part we have seen, how can we view particular ID single data on web page in Laravel 5.8, if you have missed it, please check it. For edit or update data, first we want to create edit link in each row of data, for this we have go to index.blade.php file. And here we have write, anchor tag, with ref is equal to, Laravel expression, and between this we have write, root method, and between this we have write, crud.edit. And in second argument we have write, dollar row variable with id object, it will send request to edit method of cruds controller, with id object value. Now we have go to, edit method of cruds controller, here in edit method we can see, dollar id as argument of this method. This method is used for show form for editing data. Under this method, we have write dollar data variable is equal to crud model class, with find or fail method with dollar id as argument, this method will return related model, based on its primary key. So, here we have store data in dollar data variable, now we want to send to edit file, so here we have write return statement, with view method, under this we have write edit file name. And in second argument we have write, compact method, and under this we have write data, so by using this data variable, we can use data of this dollar data variable in view file. Now we have open, edit.blade.php file, and here we have write at the rate extends directive with file name parent, this directive will inherit content of parent.blade.php file. Below this we have write, at the rate section directive with yield directive name main, this directive define the section of parent.blade to php file. First we want to close section directive content, so here we have write at the rate end section. Now here first, we want to make one link for go to index page. For this, here we have write, Anchor tag with ref is equal to, Laravel expression, and between this we have write root method. And between this we have write crud.index. It will make URL, which will redirect page to index method of crud controller. Now we have create HTML form for edit data. So here we have write form tag, with action is equal to, Laravel expression and between this we have write, root method. Under this method we have write, crud.update, and in second argument we have write dollar data variable with id argument, it will send request to update method of cruds controller with id, after this here we have write encryption is equal to, multipart slash form data, for upload image. Under this form, first we have write, at the rate csrf directive, in Laravel 5.8, for handle crrf inject, we have to just write at the rate csrf direct, in place of csrf token function. Below this we have write, at the rate method directive, 
with patch method, here we have use patch method of blade templating for fill form. After this, for enter first name details, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to first name, and value is equal to, Laravel expression, and between this we have write dollar data variable with first name object. Same way for last name details, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to last name, and value is equal to Laravel expression, and between this we have write, dollar data variable with last name object. For select profile image, so here we have write input type is equal to file, name is equal to image, from this tag, user can select profile image. Below we want to display image, so here we have write image tag with source is equal to, Laravel expression, and between this we have write URL class with to method with slash, it will return public folder URL. After this we have write images folder slash Laravel expression, and between this we have write dollar data with image object, it will display image from Laravel public directive images folder. Now we want to store exiting image data under hidden variable, so here we have write input type is equal to hidden, and value is equal to Laravel expression, and between this we have write, dollar data with image object. Lastly, for submit form data, here we have write, input type is equal to, submit, name is equal to add and value is equal to edit, by click on this button, user can submit form data. Now we have go to CRUDs controller update method, and under this first we have write, dollar image name variable is equal to, dollar request variable with hidden image, here we have store hidden image tag value under this dollar image name variable. Below this, we have write, dollar image variable is equal to, dollar request variable, with file method, and under this we have write file tag name, so here we have store file tag property under dollar image variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar image variable value is not equal to blank, this condition will check dollar image variable has some value or not, if it has some value then it will execute if block, otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose, user has select profile image, then it will execute if block of code, so under this block of code, will validate form data with upload image. For this here we have write, dollar request variable with validate method, under this method we have write array with first key first name, with validation rules like required. In second key we have write, last name with validation rules like required, and in third key we have write image tag name, with validation rules like required, selected file must be image, and maximum image size must be 2 megabyte. So, here we have defined validation rules to all form fields, and it will check all form field must have data, and selected file must be an image, if validation rules not follow, then it will load edit view file, and display error on web page. 
Now we want to generate new image name, so here we have write dollar new name variable is equal to php random function with dollar image variable with get client original extension method this method will return original file extension this code will generate new image name for upload image here we have write dollar image variable with move method this method will move file to a new location under this method we have write public path method this method will return public folder path and under this we have write images folder name in second argument we have write dollar new name this code will upload selected file into images folder of laravel public folder but suppose user has not select any image from file tag then it will execute else block of code and under this block we want to only validate first name and last name field data for this here we have write dollar request variable with validate method under this method we have write array with first key first name with validation rules like required. In second key we have write, last name with validation rules like required, so, here we have defined validation rules to first name and last name form fields, and it will check all form field must have data, if validation rules not follow, then it will load edit view file, and display error on web page. Now we have moved to update MySQL table data, for this we have write, dollar form data variable is equal to array, with first key first name, with value get from dollar request variable with first name object. In second key, last name with value get from dollar request with last name object, and in third key we have write, image with value get from dollar image name variable, so this way we have store data in dollar form data variable, in array format. Below this, we have write, crud model class, with where id method and under this we have write dollar id variable this method will add where clause in update query for finding data of dollar id variable value after this we have write update method and under this we have write dollar form data variable this method will update data in the database after updating of data, now we have write return statement, with redirect method, and under this we have write curd, it will redirect page to index method of cruds controller. For display success message, here we have write with method, with two argument like, success and data is successfully updated. This message will be display after successfully update of data. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, on web page, we can see edit button has been generated in each row of action table column. Now we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, here we can see page has been redirect to, edit method of crud controller, and here we can see form with filled with that row data. So, here we can edit any information, so suppose we want to change last name from Smith Parker, 
and here we have also change profile image also, so here we have select image. Now we have click on update button, after click on update button, page has been redirect to list of data with success message, and here also we can see last name and profile image has been changed. So, this way we can edit or update any single data in Laravel 5.8, in next part we will discuss, how to delete or remove data in Laravel 5.8. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.